Welcome back everyone, this is Two Point Show coming back with the new update. We got so much to talk about, so sit back, relax, and let's break everything down. So very first thing you're going to notice whenever you log in and check your mail is it is Profit Orb Week, which means every single day for the next seven days, whenever you log in, you'll be getting one Profit Orb. So pair that with whatever else you've got and should be a good week, which means it's Profit Orb Week, obviously, but let's see what else is going on as soon as we load up the cool events. So you got the value package first off, and again, I never recommend spending here. Um, I do know that there's a few more packs that we can get, so let's take a look at those. These look very, very standard. Um, again, if you're close enough and you might need a few extra, they're here however i know that there's so many other better packs to buy um depending on what you need um orbs are just kind of one of those things you could get them so easy so i just wouldn't go for them although this this looks phenomenal um if you are going to spend you can get 105 relics and seven five stars for 20 bucks on top of that you get seven profit orbs for 50 million gold that's a steal i'm buying that no matter what um and these are kind of you know one one at a time you don't need to do both to get them you can spend the gold and just get the profit orbs and the promotion stones which i would 100 percent get if you can buy any resource off of gold and you've got more than enough like me there's no question about it i mean profit orbs they pair with this week glorious relics also do that but you know you want to get as much of those as you can either way so again if you're spending not a bad pack and then lastly we got this final pack which they throw everything at us um let's see i think i think it looks a little weird um i like this but like the whole boulder falling down not really my cup of tea he's got speed though which you know you know what speed is one of the most important things in the game Attack is also nice as the black hole mark can now do more and crit damage, which, you know, is not horrible. Um, outside of that, the packs, again, they are what they are, but if you're going to buy this just for the skin, I would say hold off. I don't think that it's worth it. The midsummer pack is so much better. Um, so again, if you have to pick one, go for the midsummer. Because you can get this later on, you don't need to pick up the skin right now. So moving on completely into the events now, we got Profit Orb, or Profit Summon Prizes. Everything is pretty neat, pretty nice and groovy, and you got Sherlock that everyone's been saying save up for. On top of that, you get 60 relics if you do a full complete, which means you could get 5 Sherlocks just from completing this all the way, which is a 10 star. And he's honestly one of the best. I'm considering building a second one, but I'm still kind of, you know, questioning about that. I need food and all that jazz. Outside of that, you got Heart Watcher, which is mandatory. If you're early game, you definitely, definitely want to pick up a few of her. At least get her to 9 star. And she will help your PvE damage tremendously. Moving on, Heroic Miracle, we got Bell Rain, and she's been here for a while. She's one of the best healers um, support overall, and, you know, getting her this way is awesome. Um, plus, you know, you get all the other resources, you get 10 more profit orbs, you get scrolls, as well as gear. So, if you can do this, I would say go for it. Bell Rain is phenomenal. Um, she's useful almost everywhere, and she has been for a while. So, between all three of those, Sherlock, Heart Watcher, and Bell Rain, this is an awesome week. Try to maximize everything, if you can. And again, good luck, and I hope you have awesome, awesome, you know, pulls on your profit orbs as well. But those are the main ones. Now, let's get into the other kind of tricky ones. So we got Ormus's Workshop, and they added two new artifacts. So you got the crown and the torch. Let's go all the way down here. So the crown, you start off with extra 50% all damage reduce, and then every round it decreases by 10. And I don't know if this goes on the 25% as well. Like, I don't know if the 10 stops at round 5 or if it goes forever. You know, at like round 8, do you lose all damage reduce? 
that is something that should be tested before you dive into it. Um, it seems super strong, but like also if it gets rid of that initial 25 damage reduce, I don't know if I like it. You know, it's like obviously you start with 75%, which means you're taking no damage, but is it worth it? Again, most of my fights are lasting longer. So take that into consideration. And then you've got the Torch, which takes 80% of damage from active or basic and then turns it into a dot for the next four rounds. So 20%, which makes it immensely strong. You get basically an extra 80% attack, in a way, in a dot form. That's pretty crazy. Um, this also would be amazing against bosses, which is, you know, kind of decent. Aspen Dungeon, I could see this working a lot. Really depends, though. Um, I think these are two very, very powerful. They're not the strongest out there. Um, again, it really depends on what you are needing. However, this week you can pick up these four as well. Actually, for the next two weeks. I might be going for the Augustus Magic Ball. I think that's the most important for me. Although, the Demon Bell is phenomenal as well. If you don't have energy, it is what it is. I'll be making a separate video diving completely into this, so if you have any questions, hold up. I mean, drop them down below, but don't dive too deep into this, and we'll cover it maybe two or three days from now. Nothing too crazy, so sit back, relax um, as we do that, but still, I think it's awesome that they implement that. And one last thing is next week's events look crazy so it's the campaign drop they're offering the crown it looks like they're offering you know a whole lot amun ra is in the chests but the craziest thing is this now again without reading too much into it it looks like you can possibly get a torch as well as a choose your own artifact again we don't know what they have in plan but that's crazy that is beyond crazy. So again, I think next week is going to be definitely one that you don't want to miss. Um, so again, make decisions wisely. But anyways, guys, if you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. I think this week we have a lot to work with. I'm excited for Profit Orbs. I'm going to drop four loops, maybe more, including the junior account. We're going to do a account giveaway, so we're going to start that sometime this week as well. So stay tuned. We have a lot going on. And don't forget to do your boot camp. But anyways, guys, I will catch you all in the next one. My name is Two Point Chill. I hope to see you around. Peace.